What is good, everybody? Thank you yet again for tuning into the channel. It is your boy Zaya back again. Social media platforms are represented on the screen, so be sure to follow me on any one of those. And of course, www.easetocrave.bitcartel.com is the merch site. To pick up all your Ease to Crave merch, man, those links are down below in the description. Want a tea? Available to the end of today. Scoop it up. With that being said, man, we are back with another pickup, man. Another unboxing and unfortunately this unboxing is a little concerning the reason for that is because this was purchased off the makari site and i totally forgot that the makari site only gives you three days to view the product and make a decision on whether you want to keep it or not now this morning i was hit with an email stating that the makari transaction was closed out meaning that this pack has been sitting downstairs for more than three days so now if I open it up and it's a Fugazi shoe or it's a fucking brick, then I'm gonna have a little bit of trouble with the Macari site because they're gonna wanna know why it was that it took me so long to view the contents. Now, I will say this, I've never had this issue with Macari. I've, I've never had to go this route, so I don't know if there's some sort of alternative measures. I don't know if maybe they do give you an extension past the three days, I'm not sure. I gotta be honest with you, I've never been this backed up with packages but we are going to open it on camera please pray for your boy that your boy just ain't get fucking bamboozled before i get into it man i want to make a correction on yesterday's video man i showed you guys a second pair of j-packs that i picked up that came in a different box and i did reach out to stockx salute to stockx they did reach out to me and they told me to send them pictures but before that a lot of you guys weighed in on the video and i have to tell you this man i fucking love it okay regardless if i'm right or wrong that's not what it's about. It's about us as a community, even if it's just us as a small community, helping one another out with information. A lot of you guys hit me up and told me, yo, Zaya, you got to be careful because a lot of the European releases come in different boxes than the US releases. And I'm going to keep it 100 with you. In all the years I've collected Nike SB, I never fucking knew that. All right. To me, that's weird. Why would Nike put the same shoe in different boxes? boxes because of regions. Again, that doesn't make no sense to me, but of course, Nike is the giant in the sneaker market and I'm just little old Zaya on YouTube. So I'm sure that they have a reason why they do that. To me, that doesn't make any sense. I feel like everyone should get the same treatment. Everyone should get the same box. But again, like I said, man, who am I? So I will be chopping it up. That sneaker was supposed to come in that box, but it still did come damaged. So hopefully StockX can maybe hit your boy off with a few bucks back for the damaged box. Needless to say, I definitely wanted to say thank you to everyone who chimed in yesterday with that information. Again, like I said, with me, it's not a right or wrong. With me, it's not a I'm taking it personal because you're trying to put me on to game. I'm not like that, man. I don't take shit like that personal. I appreciate everybody that corrected me yesterday. Salutes. With that out the way, let's go ahead and open up this package. Oh, man, I've always wanted to do that. Shout out to my boy Tops. All right, man, so we got this package here, man. Let's go ahead and open this bad boy up again. I should have opened this up last week, bro, but I didn't. Um, I totally forgot about it, and I got the email today stating that the Macari transaction was closed, so I'm praying, bro. I'm praying. I almost don't even want to look, man. I almost don't even want to look. Oh my God, bro. I, I hope this transaction didn't go bad. Correct. Um, I picked these up for a decent price. Um, I definitely paid resale. Please no one tell Ron to the alter ego. I don't want him to think that I'm out here fucking mentally <laughs> incompetent. Uh, nah, but salutes, bro. I definitely paid more than I would have any other time. There's a reason why I did so. Let's go ahead and get into the pickup. Yeah, I see it. Nike SB. Yes, another Nike SB pickup. Get that out the way. First things first, uh, it appears to have some slight water damage right there but nothing crazy bro it looked like maybe it just dropped right there the box is in great condition stock x pay attention see this is how the box is supposed to come all right stock x look you see you see no rips no tears 
I'm just saying, bro. You know, and I'm not trying to throw shots at StockX. I'm just saying, bro. As a seller, my sneakers that I have sent in have been rejected for less. I'm just lost at how that made it to me like that. But let's go ahead and put that behind us, man. That's uh, yes, that's yesterday's video. Okay, I opened it. I opened it, but I don't see it. The paper's there. Let me see. Let me see. These are nice, bro. Okay. Y'all want to see them? Y'all want to see them? Y'all want to see them? You want to know? Oh, you see it, bro. Your boy got the Nike SB Dunk High Thomas Campbell, AKA the What the Dunks. Okay. Let's get both these pairs out. Just to note, extra laces is orange. Yeah. These gotta come out, bro. Those are way too plain. Orange lace is gonna do those justice right there. Okay, there it is. Okay. First and foremost, let me say this, man. One of the reasons that I got this What The Dunk is because the actual What The Dunk, the real one, is just an astronomical pricing right now. And I'm not about to spend all that money on a what the dunk, you know, it, it just is what it is, man. I haven't got to that stage, believe me, it took me a little bit to, to pull the trigger on this one, but I felt that at the time, although it was high, it definitely was still under market. So I said, fuck it, you know what I'm saying? At the very worst, if I don't like them, I could just hold them for a little bit and hopefully they'll go up and I'll make just a few dollars, nothing crazy. I'm looking at them now, they look really, really nice and we're gonna get into it. But uh, like I said, man, I've been fiending for a what the dunk as far as Nike SB. There have been tons of what does that have come out uh, in the past, but everyone knows that the true what the is the Nike SB what the low, right? So looking around and wanting them and seeing that price and not wanting to pull the trigger on that and not really feeling like my collection, I felt like something was missing from my collection, that whole what the feel. So I said, fuck it. Next best up is the what the dunk Thomas Campbell dunk hot and I pulled the trigger now I will say this looking at them there are a few things that I don't like about them but there are a lot of things that I do like about them so I'm gonna go ahead and get into first what I don't like about them number one that insole all right you see that insole uh, for a what the, I think they could have done a lot better. They could have done some sort of graphic or some so, some sort of uh, dope insole on the inside. Unfortunately, the insole is the same on both. It's just a Nike SB on a, uh, I believe it to be like a light pink platform, but I think they really bombed out on that one. They really could have done that better. Also, you see this, this is, and this is what I was saying the other day, which is the gift and the curse of hype beasts coming into the Nike SB market, right? When the hype beasts weren't here and Nike SB a few years ago was tanking pretty much, what Nike SB was doing was they were taking the cushioning out of the collar and out of the tongue. Now with the hype beasts jumping on it, I feel as if the padding in the tongue is a staple for the Nike SB line and now we'll be in a lot if not all Nike SBs moving forward. But there were a few years there that the Nike SBs that were releasing didn't have no padding and unfortunately this is one of them bro. There's no padding in the collar like this is super thin okay. There's no padding in the tongue. To me this shit is I don't know bro like I, I'm not really feeling that part bro. I love when there's padding bro. To me, you know, technically, do I believe that Nike SB makes this for skaters? No, no offense to skaters, bruh, but skaters don't need a fucking premium. Skaters don't need a quick strike to skate, all right? But one of the dope parts about it is the fact that it has the padding, bro. That's what makes it to me a nice dope skateboarding sneaker, bro. And unfortunately, this one is severely lacking in all padding. So unfortunately, those are the bad things about it. Now, the good things about it is just the colorfulness of the shoe, okay? Now, to me, this is not a true what the because it's not taking from other models. I believe all they did was take a bunch of patterns and just put them together. Another Another thing that I like is that they switched up the materials all throughout the shoe. So while you have a leather on the toe box, you've got a suede on the mud guard, and you also right here on the eyelids, you have like some really hard canvas with like a really, um, how would you say it, protruding stitching. If you can see it right there, you see how the stitching is extremely visible. Uh, that follows all the way around and it's up on the eye stays where they put that canvas. So really, really nice. You've got that back panel, which is suede. 
Um, it's divided between a sort of like a creamish suede on this side and a pinkish suede on this side. I love that Nike SB that they have there. Not the traditional Nike SB, but uh, it has like a different font to it, which is uh, pretty dope. Uh, again, it's a really, really nice sneaker, but it's not true to the what the, in my opinion, bro. Like I wish Thomas Campbell, which Thomas Campbell, I don't know what his exact affiliation is with Nike SB that they would even grant him a sneaker to do this. Last time I checked, I believe he was like an, a director or a, a assistant director on one of the Nike SB skate videos that they do. To me, not enough to warrant why he would be able to get something like this or be able to do something like this. But regardless of the fact, shout outs to him, man. No, no hate at all. Uh, again, it's a nice shoe, but to me, it's not really true to the whole what the theme. All right. But again, a lot of dope a lot of dope graphics all around all throughout really nice definitely needs a lace swap i hate the fact that the tongue is a beige uh it, it, i feel like it's gonna get dirty pretty quick and shit no padding bro no padding at all i don't i don't understand how they did that uh shout out to thomas gum bottom always an amazing feature on any sneaker let's go ahead and check out the other one again this is one of them situations where i feel forced to choose which shoe i like the best and I have to say, color-wise, had they put the pink here on this shoe, uh, then this would be my uh, my choice. Uh, I definitely like this one. I think this one is definitely a lot more out there than this other shoe. But as you can see, again, leather on the toe box, suede on the mud guard, and then it has that canvas right there with that uh, with that stitching. That stitching is real crazy, uh, really dope. Got canvas swooshes on both sides, uh, different design, but definitely a canvas swoosh on both sides. I love these Nike SB checks right here. That looks pretty clean. I like how that came out. I feel like as far as these sneakers, you see this upper panel right here going all around. They should have split it and this should have been different. That should have been different. Uh, same thing on this one. Uh, should have been different on this side than it was on this side. But regardless, uh, these are just little things that I would have switched myself. Really, really clean sneaker. I don't see myself selling it, although I don't feel like that whole uh, that void for a Nike SB what the has been fulfilled. Um, I'm going to keep on checking on platforms to see if the price goes down on the actual what the low, but I got to be honest with you, I don't see myself dropping ducats like that for that low, so I might just have to settle for this, unfortunately, all right? Again, really, really clean sneaker, definitely needs a lace swap. I'll go ahead and uh, show you guys real quick, all right, for the people that own these salutes, man, get down below in the comments, let me know how you like them. Uh, a lot of people, a lot of reviews that I've seen, a lot of people were talking about that they weren't going to wear them. Um, I don't see this as being that special that I won't wear. Uh, so it's only a matter of time. Let me see. Did they do different? See, down there, they could have done those different. You know what I'm saying? Like, or maybe even a, a, a gum bottom on one and a different bottom on another. So again, to me, not a true what the, but it's a dope sneaker, man. Uh, I'm, I'm happy I copped. I'll add these to the collection. Shit, let me tell you something. You know what I'm more, listen, with all the things that I found in these that I don't like, the one thing that I do like is that they legit and it's a good transaction because again, like I said, man, I took my time in opening these up. So the Macari transaction has already been closed out so i'm happy that at least you know i got what i asked for but clean sneaker man let me know what you think down below in the comments in your opinion which pair is better the left or the right all right let me know if you would cop these let me know what you think are they dope are they trash let me know what you think down below in the comments man all right with that being said man i appreciate everybody for coming by and showing that love salutes man i will have another unboxing for you guys tomorrow with that being said your boys out of here everybody stay up stay fresh and i will catch y'all on the next unboxing peace